So you want to build a minimum Arduino on the breadboard. How do you do that? Well, one approach is first of all to take a working Arduino Uno. Here we have one. And this board has a nice feature that we're having the Admiral chip, which is sitting here, is uh, in a dip package, dual inline package uh, with 28 pins. It has 14 pins on each side. And because this uh, Atmel chip is sitting on a dip socket, we can easily replace it. But before we do that, note that we programmed the chip already. So here with the standard blink program, and you can probably see that uh, here's the LED and it's blinking at its typical pattern for the blink program. So this gives us confidence that the chip is programmed correctly. So let's remove the chip. First of all, we unplug power, obviously. Then we can work with one or two uh, screwdrivers. They should have, uh, uh, they should be quite thin. And the reason for that is that there is, you might be able to see that. Uh, so there's a little gap between the chip and the socket. So this gives us the chance to actually uh, wedge in a screwdriver. And what I like to do is I like to use two screwdrivers. First of all, I basically make sure the gap doesn't close on the left side while I'm um, wedging it up on the right. So I'm just twisting the screwdriver and uh, you don't have to be overly concerned. I would say this, these dip packages are quite sturdy. And so we already have a nice wedge on the right side. So let's also twist it up on the other side. And so here we go. When you remove the chip, uh, well, note the note its positioning. Uh, so first of all, you have this little wedge here. That's an indication, of, and then you have also this well little dot that marks pin number one. Okay, now we made a mental note of the positioning, and now I can remove the chip. Well, so here we go. And now I can place it on a breadboard.